as his ex-lover, Ines Antonio, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Sentencing started at the Johannesburg Magistrates Court today. Antonio, who previously accused the police and justice system of letting her down, broke down when Peter was slapped with a 10-year sentence. The sentence comes amid the 16 days of activism of no violence against women and children campaign. Relieved and glad to put an end to a painful period in her life. Ines Antonio will now go back to school to complete her matric. Her child's father threw acid at her last November. It's ten years and I'm happy, but at the same time, I feel sorry for him. I really didn't want to have to go through this, but he chose it this way, so the 24-year-old mother said the justice system had failed her and her child. Her tragedy could have been avoided had police arrested Peterson on the many occasions he had broken the protection order. With Peterson having to serve time, Antonio now has renewed hope in the legal system. I feel like um, the justice has been served and I want the justice to carry on like this, to help us women feel the burn victims being burned by their partners, to help us. And like they already helped me today. And I'm so thankful for the people of South Africa for being there for me. In mitigation of sentence, an emotional Antonio told the court that she had forgiven her abuser but wanted him to be punished and sent to jail to serve as a deterrent to other would-be abusers. When handing down sentence, Magistrate Albertus Rue said even though Peterson expressed remorse, the court had to send a very strong message that such abusers would not be tolerated. Sibongile Mkanimpolweni, SABC News, Johannesburg.